This is Witchbase News for Friday the 6th of November 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...there's open conflict between the imps and the feds... ...the Halloween mystery seems all but solved... ...are the alliance up to something in the Colsac nebula and more. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. The Empire's continued pursuit of the neo marlinist terrorist organisation responsible for the attacks on Imperial starports earlier this year has led their intelligence services to the system of LTT1935 where they believe there to be secret bomb making factories operated by their new public enemy number 1 the NMLA. The Empire entered the system on Thursday bringing with it significant military presence. One minor wrinkle in the ointment however ...it's a federation controlled system. Suffice to say the feds were not too overjoyed to see a large heavily armed imperial contingent arrive in their system and have deployed their own forces to counter the arrival resulting in a conflict now raging in the system. Whilst the skirmish does stop short of open war between the two interstellar superpowers it's certainly going to do nothing for diplomacy efforts between the already frosty spacefaring behemoths. It remains to be seen at this point if the brawl between the titans will stay within the borders of the system or spill over into an all out war. Two community goals representing the two sides of the conflict are now active in the system should you wish to make your voice heard and both superpowers are offering significant rank up opportunities with their respective militia for the higher tier contributors as well as cash rewards. The following item does contain some plot spoilers for the recent Halloween event so if you'd rather not hear about that just yet then please consider this fair warning. Last week saw the emergence of the long lost Adamaster megaship in the Chukchan system after a 200 year long absence. The trail following the story of the Adamaster and what happened to it leads from the Chukchan system in two separate directions ...the Colsac Nebula and a privately owned listening post in a remote system some 300 plus light years away in the rough direction of Barnard's loop. When accessed by commanders the listening post yields an encrypted message that the community at large had struggled to unlock. That is until yesterday when it seems at last the penny dropped. A post by forum user Michael Whatever contains most of the solution to the message. I say most because the message still seems to contain a few spurious characters but it does seem at this point that the pertinent information has been extracted from it. I've linked below to an excellent video from Down to Earth Astronomy that explains how the listening post message was ultimately decrypted. And whilst we're on the subject of the Halloween event if you've been following the story you'll know that the Adamaster visited a geological survey site in the Colsac Nebula and had an encounter that was distinctly Thargoid in nature. When it eventually arrived in Chukchan 200 years later the ship was boarded by Alliance salvage crews. Since the Halloween event concluded an Alliance megaship has arrived in the affected system in the Colsac region. All this following the Thargoid attacks a few weeks back in the Witch Head sector that saw Alliance assets under threat from an apparent Thargoid advance. Whilst the Federation and the Empire are busy rattling sabers and indeed now clashing sabers with each other in a fight over Marlinist ideals has the Alliance been quietly working on something Thargoid related? and perhaps dare I suggest jamming a stick into a Thargoid nest. Something clearly had the Thargoids irritated a few weeks back and now it seems the Alliance are taking more than a passing interest in a newly discovered Thargoid thread. The Galnet report that saw the arrival of the Adamaster in Chukchan made no mention of Thargoid materials aboard the vessel but we do know that the Adamaster had something Thargoid related aboard it when it left the Colsac Nebula. Did the Alliance salvage crew really find nothing on board or are they hiding something? Give us your theories in the comments below. Is that the end of the story or is there more to this than we're seeing? 
When the Horizons expansion was folded into the main game last week the header artwork on the Steam store for Elite Dangerous changed to reflect the new functionality that the full game now includes. Most notably it now features a planetary surface. Eagle eyed observers however quickly noticed that one of the SRVs shown in the image is not of a type that we've seen before. More specifically it looks as though the SRV is indeed perhaps a scarab but instead it features a large cannon on the back rather than a cargo storage unit that we're used to seeing. We do know that the Scarab SRVs are modular in nature. Indeed you can see the cargo module being installed on the vehicle when it's deployed from a players ship. But we've never yet had the opportunity to change the module choice. Is this image just an error perhaps showing some concept art that never made it into production or is this a hint of something that might be arriving alongside the Odyssey update next year? Give us your thoughts below. And finally Frontier confirmed in a tweet this week that Elite Dangerous will be fully compatible with the next generation of consoles namely the PlayStation 5 and whatever the hell the Xbox is calling itself now. And we've seen at least one article that seems to confirm on the Xbox at least that the game and specifically its loading times are taking full advantage of the consoles installed solid state drives. As with everything else we've talked about this week that is linked in the description below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.